Hi everybody, it's Clint, a uh, fitness specialist at the Canada Game Center. Um, I have a warm-up for you to do. We're going to do two rounds of the warm-up. Uh, each exercise we'll do for 10 reps. Um, then we get into the workout part, and you're going to do four to six rounds of eight reps per exercise. On all of these things, take your time. No need to rush. Uh, go slow, be in control, and very focused on the movement. So we'll get started with the warm-up here right away. And I'm going to drop down onto my mat, and I'm going to start out with a glute bridge. So I'm going to bring my heels in nice and close to my backside. My feet are about hip width apart. I can set my arms up here, can have them on the floor, wherever is comfortable. What I'm going to do is drive my hips up, hang out there for a second, come back down. I'm going to do that 10 times. So lifting the hips up, pushing my feet into the floor, my upper back into the floor, and breathing in and out. We're going to do three more here. One, two, and ten. So after that, I'm going to come up, keep my feet hip width apart. I'm going to squat down, hook my fingers under my toes, and I'm going to lift my hips up as high as I can. Don't worry if you can't get your legs straight. And this is going to stretch out my hamstring and my back a bit. We're going to do seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come up nice and slow. And then next one will be a squat. But I'm going to sit down in my squat, get my hips back, weights on my midfoot, my heel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing my arms back, keep my chest tall, raise my arms up nice and high, as high as I can, and bring them back down. So I'm going to pull through my upper back to raise my arms up, try and keep my arms as straight as I can, breathe in and out because I'm holding at the bottom of my squat. And remember to keep that back flat. We're at eight, nine, and 10. Come up nice and slow, because we've been holding in the bottom of that squat position. Next one, we're going to do a torso rotation. Again, feet hip width apart. I'm going to push my hips back a bit, bend my knees, drop my right hand down, left hand comes down with it. I want to open that left arm up towards the ceiling. I'm going to turn my chest and my head along with that arm. Open up to the right side, left, right. Don't force it, just go as far as you comfortably can. We'll do one more, open and relax. Come up, and we've got one more stretch, warm up exercise. Right knee on the floor, left foot out front, in that half kneeling position. I'm going to push my hips forward for one, two, three, four, keep the chest tall, five. I'm going to switch sides, five on my right side. four, and five. I'm going to cycle through that again for the second round, but this time I'm just going to do the exercises and I'm not going to coach you through them. So you can just follow along. So starting with the glute bridge.
So remember we're doing 10 reps. Get the hips nice and high, squeezing with your glutes, hamstrings, your low back, and pushing your feet into the floor. Come up for the hamstring, stretch, squat down, hook the fingers under the toes, get the hips back, lift them up. Remember to breathe, you got your head down low, Nice and high with the hips. Eight, nine, and 10. Into the squat with the arm raise. Feet hip width apart. Sit the hips back and down. Chest tall. Lift the arms. One, two. Breathe in and out. Nine and 10, come up, stand up tall, set up for that torso rotation, drop the hands down, the hips are back. Go slow and steady. We got nine and 10. We're gonna go into that hip stretch. One knee down on the floor, one foot out front. Shift the hips forward and back. I'm gonna do five on one side. Switch and do five on the other. Driving the hips forward keeping the chest tall. And 10. So that's the warm up. Now we're gonna get into the main part of the work up, workout. We have four to six rounds of these exercises, or six exercises. Um, you're gonna do eight reps of each. So I want you to move slow, steady, breathe in and out and be in control of your whole body. So we're gonna start out with a push up. Set up with your hands just outside of shoulder width apart. Spread your fingers out. Nice and strong through your whole body. Down, one, two, three, seven, and eight. I'm gonna come up, set up with a little wider stance with my feet for a squat. Hands out front, drive the hips back, keep the chest tall, down, stand up nice and tall. Sit down, stand up. Slow and steady. seven and eight. We're gonna go back to a push-up. This time, we're gonna bring our hands right under our shoulders. And when we drop down, bring the upper arm along the side of the body, come up. So we're pushing a little more through our triceps. All the way down if you can. And eight. Come up again. Next one, single leg deadlift. So, up on my left foot, can bend that left knee. I'm gonna try and hinge at the hips, keep my back flat. I can let my arms come down, but don't let them hang. Be strong through your back, your upper back. 
pull yourself back up to standing. And since I'm only doing eight reps, I'm going to do four on one side. I'm going to switch over to the other foot. And I'll do four on the other. So try and move through the hip as far as you can without folding forward through your spine. We've got one more. I'm going to come up. And then last push up. This one is a nice wide stance. So quite a ways outside of shoulder width. I'm going to drop down and up. seven, eight, come back up. And then the last exercise is a lateral hop. So we can be up on one foot. We're gonna use our arms, sink down on that, on that right leg, pop across to the left, stick your landing, sink down, come up and across. So on that last one, it's tricky to keep your balance. Make sure that you stick that landing, sink down on whatever foot you're balanced on, and come across, catch yourself, sink down. So you can repeat that four to six rounds, the eight reps. And thanks, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye.